That's a plain gravitational wave. It has wave fronts that are constant. The back of the room and the front of the room would squash together and then stretch out and then would be contracting and squashed together. Basically, you find a black hole in those galaxies whose mass is basically 1% of the mass of the stars of this body. Why that is the case, I don't think we know. Black hole mergers per cubic gigaparsec per year as a function of their merger redshift. And then there are extrinsic parameters. So these supermassive black holes are around 10 to the 9 solar masses, and they're separated by a milliparsec, which is about the size of our solar system. The first director of the Institute, Abraham Flexner, when defending the Institute itself, he says, We make ourselves no promises, but we cherish the hope that the unobstructed pursuit of useless knowledge will prove to have consequences in the future as it has in the past. But not for a moment, however, do we defend the Institute on that ground. It exists as a paradise for scholars who, like poets and musicians, have won the right to do as they please. You get it, it's different angles, integrate it over all this deal message. Important photographer Alfred Eisenstadt. 